Hi guys and welcome to the latest edition of Air Clips Documentaries. Today on the giant Milmi 26 heavy lift helicopter. Here we are today at Lipsky Airport close to Minsk where the Belarus Ministry for Emergency Situations has its helicopter fleet based. Lipsky Airfield is about a 45 minute drive from the international airport of Minsk and in 2019 it has another time been uh, the scene for an exciting aviation day of Merlin Tour, the tour operator exclusively offering every year aviation tours in rare Soviet aircraft and after a couple of failed attempts in the previous years due to unavailability of the aircraft finally in 2019 a flight in the giant Milmi 26 helicopter did actually happen. helicopter base, as you can see in the backdrop as well, hosts Milmi 26 super heavy helicopters alongside with smaller Mi-8 helicopters and other versions of Soviet models. Some 70 passengers on board. Actually the helicopter has a capability of accommodating up to 90 troops when it comes to military use alternatively it can carry a payload of 20 tons which makes it by far the largest helicopter in the world that has ever been produced in serious production there have been a few larger prototypes being built for example of the milmi 12 but the 26 is the largest in serious production and here you can see the cockpit is filling up it actually accommodates four crews on uh, this mission plus one lady from the tour operator in the middle on the jump seat. Behind the flight deck that you can see here is another small room like an aisle and behind that you have the large cargo bay. This is the captain in front preparing his equipment for the scanning flight, which will be like a 20 minute tour with a couple of exciting low passes over the short runway of Lipsky Airfield. And also they will do some real interesting low level flying. Right now, take a moment and enjoy the lengthy preparations of this beast for its flight. you just heard the engines have been started and here you can see the super large main rotor. Actually it is the first main rotor ever in the industry that has been produced from the factory with eight blades and the sizes are incredible of course. For example if you take the tail mounted rotor it equals the size of a main rotor of an MD500 helicopter. So really really large. Here you can see the propeller shaft, very visible in the, in this case, passenger cabin, going from the engine in the middle on the top to the tail rotor.
In the backdrop you can see a Mi-2 helicopter performing a low pass over the Lipsky runway, which is also part of the Merlin Tour sightseeing trips performed on that day. It obviously takes some time for the systems to get started. In the meanwhile, everything seems to be pretty much up and running so that the ramp agent will only have to wait for another short moment until our helicopter can start taxiing to the runway for our trip to start. Cargo bay doors get closed before taxiing and you can probably notice that the sound experience inside the cargo bay where the around 70 souls were awaiting their once in a lifetime flight on the Mi-26 was just incredible. It was super super loud in the helicopter and the ones who thought of ear protection were really the lucky winners of the day. Obviously an exciting cabin, still you can see that the main entrance is open at this point. There's an emergency exit that goes straight to the top to the engines. And here you can see in the lower left corner an operator in the cabin is watching the main rotor. Still preparations are going on on the flight deck with some checklist uh, reading and some switching of buttons. Another thing slowing down the process is obviously the Mi-2 helicopter still performing its um, tour around the runway which we will need for takeoff of our Mi-26 helicopter and we can't go until that one is finished and out of the way but again there's a lot of checklists to be worked through and they're making good use of the time here on the flight deck. And now finally it's start for the main rotor to move. As you can see, still witnessed by the operator downstairs uh, through the open access door. Here we go. interesting detail you can see that the uh, rotor blades are barely visible now in the top of the picture and in a moment they will be entirely gone because obviously even in idle the rotor blades raise up already.
in the cockpit they are still carefully monitoring all the gorges to ensure that there is no overheating in all the systems start up and keep running smoothly. Closing of the main door, seen here again from the inside, obviously it's about time to go now. The same picture as previously, but no rotor blades visible anymore in the top of the picture. So the trees around the helicopter start shaking heavily already and the whole helicopter actually was shaking quite a bit. And here we go, ready to taxi. The runway is straight ahead. On the right hand side you can see a couple of spotters enjoying the great view on this mighty helicopter as it taxis past in the best possible sunlight. Not all tour participants decided to join this ride. It's like selecting from a menu. You have great helicopters and aircraft on offer during every tour and you can make your personal selection and combination of which tours and flights you'd like to join. It's a very short taxi. Here you have a great aerial overview over the different helicopter types, uh, Mi-2, Mi-8 and a couple of, or actually two more Mi-26 in the backdrop of Lipke Airfield. Most of the cabin windows can be opened in the Mi-26 helicopters and that's used by the loadmasters, which during taxi have a very careful look that on the outside everything is as it shall be. And here we are on the runway, just a bit more time needed for heating up the engines until we get the clearance for takeoff and do the first round around Lipki Air Base. helicopter actually holds the world record for the heaviest ever helicopter flight recorded in history. 
with some 56 metric tons of total weight which actually marks the maximum takeoff weight of this helicopter as well. The Mi-26 is built since 1977, with first operations having commenced in 1980. It is still in production. The latest version of it is the Mi-26T and uh, so far more than 300 units have been built in total. The manufacturer is uh, Roswatol of uh, Russia and still delivering new units to the uh, Russian Air Force and other foreign customers including for example the Indian Air Force. Also, you can find a few commercially used units of this helicopter worldwide, which are then again very popular amongst other air forces as charter operations. For example, the US Air Force charters private Mi-26 helicopters and has chartered them, for example, for recovering stranded Chinook helicopters from the mountains somewhere in Afghanistan. Here we go, finally we lift off for our first little round around the forest that you can see on the right side of the helicopter and then we will do another turn underneath the runway. Obviously we've been very lucky with the weather, it's great to see the shadow of our mighty helicopter down there. You will see some other great shots during that flight as well of this uh, huge shadow of our helicopter uh, reflecting just under us with that very very low altitude flying that we did at some times. The Mi-26 helicopters of the Belarus Ministry for Emergency Situations are actually deployed worldwide. Wherever there is any disaster that needs the special capabilities of such a great helicopter, they go there, they help, they support. So we now actually have the airbase on the right hand side of the helicopter. We are just making our way back into sequence for aligning ourselves with 
the runway for a first low pass in a wide uh, right turn that you will be able to see in a moment. Now obviously the around um, 70 passengers on board in the cargo bay start uh, familiarizing themselves with this amazing situation. Here you can see the right turn now inside the cargo bay with all the passengers. It's still this extreme noise. You just have a few windows but there has been a very good discipline amongst the participants of the tour and they always changed the seats so that everyone could enjoy. And here looking down you can see that our altitude is already pretty low as we approach the runway already starting to become visible here right on the right hand side of the Mi-26 helicopter. As we are overshooting runway 01 at a relatively high speed now, we offer another great view for the ones that decided to stay on the ground for this trip and certainly accompanied by great engine sounds and uh, great sounds created by the main rotor blade here. Certainly our helicopter is not yet up to maximum takeoff weight. You can see quite a steep climb right now in this moment. However, with more than 70 souls on board, it has certainly a bit of weight but that's easily managed by this fantastic machine this time we do a left turn we go up for a higher flight level on the left hand side you will see now the area around uh, Lipki uh, which is a suburb of the city of Minsk This will be another relatively short circle and then we will do uh, a left traffic pattern again into runway 01 of Lipki Air Base. Thereafter we will do some more low level flying, quite a bit lower than the previous turn that we've already witnessed. Here you can see the group of passengers, some very rare safety card obviously. The production plate of our helicopter with the serial number. And here is an example for the camera being allowed to be held outside. Really really difficult to hold it with all the air pressure coming from the uh, main rotor on top.
turn over the city was also a great opportunity for all the tour participants to one after the other have a close look into the flight deck. It was very friendly by the crew to allow everyone to have a look inside, enjoy this massive flight deck that can host up to five people like in this case. There was really enough time during this 20 minute something flight to enjoy every view and see every angle of the aircraft in operation. Now again, we're initiating the left turn back into the area of Lipke Airfield for another low pass over the runway. Unfortunately, the Mi-26 also holds the record for the most fatalities that have ever occurred inside a helicopter caused by a crash uh, that was in the year 2002 when an overloaded Mi-26 aircraft was downed by a missile by separatists. It was a helicopter belonging to the Russian Air Force and in that attack 127 people on board this helicopter lost their lives. banking to the right again into this forest area which happens to be our training area obviously for the operations of the Ministry for Emergency Situations. Here you have a great view at our massive shadow down there in that forest. Now if you compare the Mi-26 payload of 20 tons to the next western built helicopter comparable in size that would be the Tsiolkovsky Super Stallion CH-53 and the Super Stallion has maximum payload of 13 and a half tons inside the helicopter or as an outside load uh, maximum of 14 and a half tons so significantly lower than the Mi-26 one quarter less or even more depending on where the cargo is placed.
Now this is some real low level flying here, at least when you consider the massive size of the helicopter and it's probably relatively slow maneuverability as compared to very small and agile helicopters. By the way, this uh, maximum takeoff weight of 56 tons, metric tons, of the Mi-26 helicopter is comparable to the smallest 737 built. So, for example, the Boeing 737-100 even had a maximum takeoff weight that was less than this helicopter. Incredible dimensions. And again we go for uh, chopping a couple of trees here I guess, really low level and although the faces won't show I have the feeling that the crews enjoyed what they were doing there. By the way, apologies for this relatively little amount of cameras placed on the flight deck. has been around uh, 10 cameras this time and as you know airclips.com usually you would see 20 or more cameras utilized to show every angle including instruments and so on. Reason being is that we only had 5 minutes to equip the aircraft which was already fully loaded with passengers upon our arrival so time has been extremely short.
sure that the golf players down there did enjoy our low overflight for sure. And uh, if you enjoy our video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel. Make sure to push the thumbs up button for this film and please leave a couple of comments. Also, um, at this point, we'd really um, like to express our appreciation for the openness of the crew here to really be so kind to share this super nice experience with all us aviation enthusiasts here. That's certainly something very, very generous and that we like and appreciate and enjoy a lot. So thanks a lot to the crew. So here we come in for our final full stop landing after the last circle we did here. Again runway 01 at Lipsky Air Base. Um, we will go straight slowly descending into the runway spot in front of the taxiway that we will need to take for taxiing back into our stand. The spotters down there are already awaiting our arrival, waiting for another great opportunity to take pictures of this stunning and rare helicopter. Obviously we've also been extremely lucky with the weather so that we could all enjoy beautiful views here. Here we are, back on Earth. Now it'll take a moment of time before the taxiing commences, also for obtaining the clearance and obviously the rotors keep running, cooling down in the meanwhile. And here we go now. It will be interesting to have a short look at the trees as we taxi past them. <laughs> we create a lovely little storm, of course. First of all, on the left side, the spotters patiently waiting in the grass. On the right side, again, the Mi-8, uh, Mi-2 and uh, sister ship Mi-26 helicopters. Thank you very much for having watched this. Thanks a lot for joining us on board on this unique ride. It's really a passion to serve you. Thank you for staying with us and please look forward to a lot more interesting films uh, coming up on airclips.com. Also please have a look into the video description for finding our list of totally free HD cockpit videos that we have. We are not selling anything on airclips.com. You don't have to buy anything, no um, payable downloads, no DVDs on sale. You get the whole thing for free with us. Enjoy, have a look into the video description for the full program and enjoy watching.
thank you very much and looking forward to seeing you again on one of our next flights. Bye bye.